with the dodo is your favorite low. Mr. Ortiz, back like I never left. Raised by OGs, not IGs. Anyways, I want to piggyback on something that uh, Gunner had uh, uploaded earlier about, um, you know, the super uh, super black slash crip, right? And, um, you know, go watch his video because he, he explained it or whatever. But um, I ain't about to come with the negative shit or whatever, whatever. I just want to piggyback off of it and... Um, the thing I didn't like about what the blacks did was kind of crazy. And I didn't seen this happen before. That's the reason why it's a lot of shit. That, that's why I don't talk about jail, homie. Because I seen a lot of shit on the yard, homie, that would just like, I wasn't feeling it, homie. I wasn't feeling it. I would just be like, bro, I ain't got that long, bro. I'm ready to go home. These niggas can have this shit. You feel me? But the situation that happened with the nigga being so wild it's nothing wrong with being wild and standing up for who you are and being pro-black. But also as a crip, my nigga, it's rules and regulation. Because when you signed up for this shit, homie, you got to go by the rules. I remember when we had a meeting on the uh, on the three yard at Sentinella, on the, on, on the D yard, on the, on the level three. And uh, the homie Black Rag was like, uh, we had a meeting. He was like, look, cuz, anybody can get it cuz ain't nobody bigger than a program. Ain't no leaders, cuz, you know what I'm saying? You lead by example. So it's like if I put if, if I'm doing shitty shit, bro, I'm putting everybody else in the wreck. You feel me? And I and I understand that shit. I took that shit in, was like, damn, bro, he wasn't lying. You know what I'm saying? Nobody bigger than the program. But the situation with this dude, that mean the yard had to been so weak as a motherfucker. It sounded like some Disneyland shit or some kitty shit. Cause it seemed like to me it wasn't no structure at all. And, and and I and I don't mean like cause the one yard they be like the same way you feel me but me personally that the blacks allow the woods to get at him bro and I'm starting to hear a lot of shit that they be it be more like uh, a lot of blacks don't handle their business a lot of blacks don't be want to remove people because they don't want to go to the hole and da da da, da. no homie be pacific on who the fuck y'all be talking about. Because when y'all when y'all say that, bro, it's like y'all just signify everybody. Like we all like that. And everybody know we not, homie. Like I said, it'd be certain niggas be like a lot of non affiliates that ain't a part of that shit. Then you got the renegade niggas that don't want to be a part of nothing. Then you got the the um the fake keyways, you got the fake down moves that really ain't nobody on the streets. Them the dudes that allow a lot of shit because not because they don't want to fuck up their program. A lot of them niggas be shaking like booty meat. That's basically what it is. They be shaking like booty meat. They just be scared of shit because a lot of them be like they first time or they just be like some scary ass niggas that allow anybody to do whatever. But me per se, me personally, if bro was a problem on the yard, my nigga, niggas would have got rid of him. Not to put us in a wreck. There's no fear factor at all, homie. Ain't nobody eating that, uh, that donkey dick. You feel me? But I feel like... As them blacks, by, the, by him saying that, it was like it made them look weak as fuck. That they just allowed the a wood to just go in and remove them. And they know that this nigga is dangerous. Or how about they were scared to go approach him because he knew he was a full-fledged animal. That he was going to beat the shit out they beat the shit out them like he did them two woods. You feel me? And eventually, yeah. Later on, yeah, you like, you know, you might be right. Yeah, they will get him. And that's just how they operate. Because if you a threat, homie, and they know that you embarrassed them, bro. Yeah, they gonna team up on them. And then ain't no telling on the mother yard. Shit, they probably let them do the shit. You feel me? And that's the fault to the blacks for even allowing that shit. Because you, if, if a nigga's a problem or he's a mark, a buster, or whatever the fuck you want to call him, remove that nigga, bro. Remove him. Don't let no other race remove your peoples, my nigga. That's what make all y'all look like that because you know how these whites and these Mexicans look at it anyway because they, they assume, they assumers, you know what I'm saying? They like to assume a lot and think that we're weak, bro. We not weak, my nigga, but we got weak links. Just like y'all got, y'all got the most weakest motherfuckers. The white boys and the Mexicans, y'all got the weakest motherfuckers, but they do it because they, they do everything out of fear. And that's a true fact. Remember, bro, I'm fluent in Spanish, my nigga. I didn't heard conversation. I didn't seen it all. So, like I said, bro, a lot of them is more fearful, but they're going to do it because they fear. It's it's the out of fear factor. But when it comes to the black, we don't do shit out of fear, homie. We just do it because a lot of motherfuckers be having their mind focused on un just focus on other shit that ain't 
dare. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's too divided. Like, nobody don't want to just come together like butt cheek and say, look, bro, this is what it is. All for one, one for all. You know what I'm saying? I say that right or wrong, whatever, it don't matter because Don King get away with a lot of shit just like Jesse Jackson. <laughs> But anyways, that, that's the thing. That's our problem, bro. We too separated as group. Only time it become black, my nigga, is when it kick off and you ain't got no choice but to fight. And I hate it that way. That's why I said, that's why I don't like to talk about the jail shit. Because that shit is just, it just, it just sickened, homie. Like, come on, bro. Nigga, you, you're a criminal, my nigga. You in here, bro. What makes you don't want to, nigga? No, bro. Fight for your life. Fight for your right. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Y'all make us look weak, my nigga. Like, come on, bro. And then it's a lot of shit, you know, it's like I think they be getting amused of the shit, like Gunner and them, whatever. They be getting amused of that shit, bro. Like, they, they love to speak up on it, talk on it, bro, because it's like, it's like they try to make us look weak, bro. We not, bro. Far from it, my nigga. We just got weak links like everybody else got weak links and allow shit. The reason why y'all don't allow the shit because them niggas is, like I said, they, 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 they in fear, my nigga. They fear for their lives. Y'all control these motherfuckers. They're controlled, my nigga. Our people's is not controlled. That's why our alliance is so loose and our culture is so loose, bruh, because ain't nobody trying to listen to nobody because everybody come from certain parts of the city and certain areas and certain tribes. And that's what it is. We're too tribal, my nigga, to the point where we so stuck in our tribe. That we don't want to deal with other tribes to a certain extent, but we'll deal with other tribes when it's benefiting them as an individual. Not as a group, but individuals. You know what I mean? Because it's a lot of turmoil in the set. A lot of niggas that got killed is from their own homies. You know what I'm saying? Because of jealousy, envy, and all this other shit. The weird shit that be going on. So as a whole, bro, it's too loose. And, and that's always been our fucking problem, bro. You know what I'm saying? So... Shit happens, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I just want to piggyback off that, bro, and I'm not saying that he's not lying. Yes, he's telling the truth, though, that uh, shit do happen like that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't witness this shit several times that shit didn't happen like that, and, and I ain't like that shit, homie, and I had to go say something about it. Like, come on, bro, what the fuck is y'all doing? Like, I don't give a fuck, bro. Let's remove this nigga. Let's get this nigga the fuck up out of here. And nigga, just boom, to take off on the nigga. He out of here, you feel me? Yeah, I mean, if you been, yo. Did it three times on that one yard. Got niggas to fuck up out of there so fast. Because I, I, I refuse to let another race play with my race. It's just not going to happen, bro. No. It just it, it make us look weak, my nigga. Like, and plus, as a man, nigga, as a black man, bro, you're not going to make me look weak, bro. Ain't no one nigga about to make us look weak to no other race. Are you crazy, bro? Are you entertained? No, nah, that no, nah, bro. Like I said, ain't nobody bigger than the program, bro. It is what it is, but that type of mark ass shit, cuz... Nah, cuz that shit'll never fly, cuz. And I'm not gonna use cuz it's out of town, cuz everybody out of town got different politics, the way how they move shit and do whatever. Some niggas be buddy, buddy, goody, good up. <laughs> Some states you go to, cuz you got, like I said, you got hella white Crips, you got hella white, I mean, Mexican Crips and Bloods too. You feel me? So it's not too racial, bro. But that shit just crazy how that whole situation played out, bro. And it just made them look weak. So they had no choice. But get that kite from some other yard talk. Them like, oh, no, nah, cuz y'all need to kick that shit off. And them niggas had to kick it off. You know what I'm saying? Because it made y'all look weak, bro. And that y'all agreed to it to let them take off on cuz. And they got boobop, bang, so fast, my nigga. Y'all should have been on that nigga head. Like, hey, bro, chill, nigga. Or we going give, to give it to you. Put that Yankee Yankee out, nigga, and, and just hit him one time. Wow, he would have been like, oh, shit. And niggas would have got him before they did, you feel me? And that's always the problem. And they, they enjoy that shit because that's what they want to do. See, the, the, the woods, and not just the wood, it's the Mexicans. See, the Mexican game, they be want to check our people so bad. I'm telling you, I had this situation in Riverside with this motherfucker named Michael. Michael. One minute when he came in there, he was a regular white boy. Next time he came back, now he's an antario. Whatever, homie. He tried to do the same shit with a situation we had with a black dude that was a stanky motherfucker that went to get in the shower. He ain't got a shower in six days, so he came at us like, bro, he need to take a shower. So I told him, hey, hey bro, go get in that shower, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't trying to be aggressive to him. I just said, hey, bro, go get in that shower. So this motherfucker didn't want to go take a shower. So now he making me mad. Like, bro, I'm about to go in the tee off on this nigga. So, but the the way Mike and, and came to me, he now he became aggressive, like, oh man, yeah, if you don't tell him to do it, we gonna tell him to do it. And I said, nigga, hold up, bro, bro, I don't give a fuck if it's cause they they try to separate the uh 
us, whatever. They put all the, they put like three, four woods over there by us because it wasn't number four black. And, and then the rest was Pisces, but on the other side of the uh, table and shit in Riverside, you know, if you've been in there, is the octagon uh, shaped ass uh, dorms. They put, um, the, the, the Southsiders had that whole rope. But I told that nigga, I say, cuz, that's what you not gonna do, cuz, like, Mike, you ain't, man, you not fucking nobody, bro. I don't give a fuck how many y'all is. Like, bro, we got, nigga, I done made tomahawks for us, too. We done bust down razors, too, nigga. Like, bro, ain't nobody backing down, bro. Like I said, I'm gonna go deal with the nigga. And what happened? Nigga went in the back of the shower. Me and a uh, young nigga, homie, from, uh, I think it was from Sex Cat. We went over there and boobopped him so fast. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr